I'm in Maui Cemetery in Great Barrington, not too far from Pittsfield. We're looking at the very impressive monument of Judge Justin Dewey, who just last week was giving the charge to the jury in New Bedford. He was on the bench with Blodgett Mason. And this is his family plot. Uh, this is Judge Dewey's footstone, or headstone rather, and um, his dates. His father was also named Justin. Uh, born June 12, 1836, uh, and died on March 16, 1900. And his wife Jane, who died a couple years after Lizzie in 1929, looks to be granite, looks to be blue granite, which is the best kind of granite. And here's Jane's headstone here. Now they had uh, some daughters. Let's walk around the other side of the stone. Here's Judge uh, Dewey's sisters, Mary and Clarissa, and an infant daughter. Uh, and then here is Judge Dewey's daughters, Mary and Margaret. And they're here as well. His mom and dad are mentioned on the other side. His father, Justin Dewey Sr., born September 3rd, uh, 1797. And then Dewey carved into the base. This looks to be westerly blue granite. I wouldn't be surprised, or perhaps Vermont. And as you can see, it's not a real large cemetery. Uh, the stone is easy to find. You come in the front gate here on Silver Street and look to the right and it, we're almost out on the street so it's real easy to find this one. I'm so glad we found this and now we'll be looking for uh, Judge Mason and Judge Blodgett but it's, it's really something to think that this is the man right here to stand right over his headstone and think what he saw, what he said, and what a big part he was of Lizzie's trial.